guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you one very easy DIY that you can do at home whenever you want. And if you are a bride, then trust me, this is going to be one of your best uh, DIYs that you can use for your skin. Uh, this will give you extremely glowy and polished skin. The ingredients are very easily available and you will absolutely love it. Uh, if you've been following me, you know that I skipped foundation for my engagement. I never did any cleanup, no facial. Um, I didn't do any kind of parlor treatment and this was the mask that I had used and it did wonders for my skin and I wasn't even that regular. So imagine if you are regular, if you're consistent and uh, you do all the steps that I show you in today's video, your skin will absolutely love it and you will achieve this amazing flawless looking skin, especially if you are a bride and you do not want to wear ton of makeup on your skin. This is amazing. It will just make you look so radiant on your big day that you're definitely going to get a lot of compliments. So uh, let's get on to the video. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take some curd and put about 10 to 15 strands of saffron into it so that the curd can really soak in the saffron. Um, the one that I'm using, I will leave in the description box for you guys. It's really good. But you need to do this at least 20 to 25 minutes before you mix your mask because you want the curd to soak the saffron really well. Now, next ingredient is something that I've mixed together. These are a few powders that I've mixed together. It has sandalwood, multani mitti, neem and turmeric. I just do it to save some time instead of taking different um, powders together. I just mix it and keep it so that I can use it whenever I want. Now the next ingredient is rose clay. It is really good to clean your pores and then I'm also adding some aloe vera gel into it. Now once you've seen the curd change color, it means that it has soaked the saffron really well. So you're just going to add this to your powder and uh, use as much as you need to make this into a nice thick moussey consistency. And then you are going to mix all the powders together. Don't worry, I will mention everything in the description box for you guys to see. So this is the consistency that you will need. It is very moussey and light. It has a very uh, nice fragrance because of the rose clay. And now your mask is ready. I just took a shower so don't mind my hair is just air drying I've stopped using a lot of uh, blow dryer and stuff like that so I'm just going to use this mask all over my face now of course like I mentioned in the video you can make as much as you want I wouldn't um, suggest you to store it because every time you make it fresh um, it just is more effective and um, I like it that way so try not to store it like I said you can mix all the powders and keep it just to make it uh, easier and if you have extremely um, oily skin and you're not comfortable with curd you can definitely skip it and just put saffron in aloe vera and use it apply an even and thick layer all over your skin I've applied this mask all over my face. Now, usually if I'm doing this off camera, I will apply it all over this area because it's just nice to brighten all this area. You can use this on your body as well. But now I'm just going to apply this on Deepak. Let my mask dry. Wash it off with just plain water and be back. So keep in mind when you are washing your face, just put some water on your face and scrub it and wash it off like that that way it will also act as a scrub and your skin will feel extremely smooth now throughout this mask and a few other masks that i'm going to show you and a drink for your skin um you will know that there's one base ingredient and that is the saffron because 
um saffron is really really good for your skin it just brightens your complexion and uh, gives you a glow from within and if you have any marks and pigmentation it also will help slowly fade away so uh, not only applying it on your face consuming it also is uh, amazing so i will show you guys one particular tea that you can make with saffron that is amazing for your skin and i will post that next but after you've washed your face i'm going to use this juicy chemistries organic 100% organic bulgarian rose water now if you don't have this you can use your normal rose water but i have used many many rose waters over the years and realized that this is one of the best especially in how it makes your skin glow so i'm just going to spray this all over my face i got this few days uh before my engagement and it really helped um bring that radiance on my skin and while that is still there on my skin it's not completely dry i'm going to use this juicy chemistries saffron and red raspberry organic facial oil this uh, deeply moisturizes and promotes glowing skin and this is amazing with this mask you don't have to use this serum at all but i think just because i've been using um saffron as my base ingredient using a serum that has saffron will just make your results more effective and um you will get your results faster when compared to not using something else with saffron Now I'm just going to let this settle in my skin for some time and then be back. So this is how my skin looks guys. Um this was one stubborn pimple that I had that has left a scar. I'm not worried about it. It will fade away in few days. But uh your skin will just be so radiant and glowy and this is how your skin will look. You will not need any foundation, you will not need any tinted moisturizer. Your skin will just naturally be this radiant and glowing and slowly you will see your pigmentation, scars and everything uh disappearing and fading away and you will be left with nothing but radiant looking skin. So I will leave all the products that I used in today's a uh, video in the description box you can check it out from there um i've been um forgetting some uh, links in the past but now i'll make sure to link everything on my lips today i'm wearing this lakme's 9 to 5 um weightless matte mousse a lip and cheek color in the shade blush velvet this is one of my favorite shades i really like this pinky nude uh, color usually pink pinky nudes don't look that great on my skin tone but this really complements my skin so i will leave all the links in the description so i will leave all the links in the description box for you guys to check it out and i will meet you guys in my next video until then bye